Hey everybody, this is Diane with Crafting with Fury. I am here with a DT project share for Cray Spare, and um, I will leave the links down below to their products that I've used. And please don't forget to get a discount if you'll use my uh, coupon code Diane5 you will save on your next order and I would truly appreciate that. So let me show you what I have done and what I have used. I used this seal right here. Is it not gorgeous, that rose with the skull in the middle? Can't wait to do a bunch of Halloween projects with that. I used this seal and I used the handle that this came with on this kit here, which is the time that's got the the clock with it. So I used this, and let me show you what I did. I'm so excited. Decided to get my mixed media on. And what I did was, you can use seals for anything, wax seals for anything. It don't have to just be for closing envelopes or anything like that. I think the last one I did was on a tag. Well, this one, I'm going to show you how to use a wax seal with your mixed media. So what I did was I put this skull in the middle. I put some gears and a flower here, and I did put some pearls. And then I used this right here. If I can get it to... There we go. I used this Rust Effect paste on this. I love this stuff, absolutely love it. It gives it texture. So I used that. And then I put right here, See Something Timeless. And this is an artist trading coin. Love it, just left it blank in the back. And this, I just loved it, thought it was super cool. Well guys, I thought that we might do one together and do a Valentine's one because I have some lips. I've got the lip seal. Look how cute that is. I love it. And what I thought I would do, I have just now tried to use these wax sticks. I've never used these before. And as you can see, I had to try it to see. It's pretty cool, guys. Um, Normally what I'll do is I'll use the little spoon and, excuse me, you know how you've got the spoon in the burner and then you put those little wax beads in there? Well, this kit that came with the clock seal, it came with these. And it came with a burgundy, a silver, and a gold. And... Which color are we going to use? Do, 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 do. It ain't really going to matter because we're going to... Let's just use the silver. So let's do this first. Let's get our seal put on there first. And then we'll kind of just go around it. You know what? I may want to go ahead and glue these little hearts down and put... I might want to put the seal over it. I don't know. Let's think here just a second, guys. I thought I knew what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and glue a couple of these hearts down. And let's put this down just to see. And then we'll put the seal over it. And then I think I'll put, we'll put, now I think that's all we'll do right now. All right, so now what you need to do is, I have got one of these, don't know where I got it, but you melt the wax on whatever you're wanting to put the seal on. So let's go ahead and start melting some wax. And this is really fun. Um, and you can kind of control how much you use. And you can see it's already starting to melt. 
and you can put it wherever you want. And when it starts to melt, guys, it starts to melt fast. So we will put enough that we can put our seal on. And we'll melt and melt and melt. This is fun. Just be careful. Don't burn yourself. It's really starting to melt now. I want to get enough that I can get a nice impression. There we go. This silver is gorgeous. It's almost like a metallic. It's so pretty. Hope you guys have had a really good weekend. Come on. I can't keep it still. <laughs> Whoops. Come on. You guys will have to forgive me. I've only done one of the ones with this wax seal with the wax stick, so I'm learning too. And that may, that may be enough to get a nice seal. I bet it will. And when you're doing mixed media, it doesn't have to be perfect because the more the texture, get that. We're gonna use the lips. So let's go ahead and Put our lips down and we'll let it sit for a minute until that dries. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and glue some flowers down because on mixed media, you want as much texture as you can and that's what makes it so fun we're gonna put a flower there I think we'll put the word love up there so we need something else down here well let's see let's see how that turned out and then we'll just go from there this is fun let's see Look at my lips, guys. Look how cute that is. Look how pretty. Gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I didn't get enough right here, but that's okay because the mixed media will make it look awesome sauce. And let's go ahead and put the word love on the top right here. And let's see, what else? Oh, I've got some pearls. Let's put some pearls right around here. I know you're thinking, ew, what in the world is she doing? Well, we're getting our mixed media on, guys. Come on. I think we'll just put some pearls all the way around this just to give it some extra texture. And what we're gonna do is, get down there, all right. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to put some gesso over everything. So I've got some gesso right here. So let's just go ahead and cover everything up white. And this always, when you do mixed media, this just helps whatever you're painting stick more. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wish I'd have made that seal a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Like I said, we still learning. And I thought what I would use on this is these paints right here. And these are Northern Lights. It's a Texture Fantasy, same brand paint. Yep. Get that to dry a little bit but this is the lip seal and then I used on that one I used that seal cute 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 and I tell you what we can do I should have put more wax on it I think that was my problem 
but like I said, we're still learning. And I'm going to put my clock back on there so I don't lose it. And all right, I'm going to put my wax stick back in there. All right. Now, what we're going to do, let's get our paints out. See, I haven't used these yet. That purple is so pretty. And what we can do is just use what's on the lids. Gorgeous. So everybody, these wax seals are so addicting and they have all kinds of different colors of the, the wax. See, here's a bunch of their colors that they have that you can use in the little burners. So you really need to go over and check them out. I really think you would like doing this because these seals are not just for um, envelopes. They're for anything and everything. So let's go ahead and start getting our colors on here. You know what? I think I'm going to like this. I do, I do. You know how I love doing mixed media. Put a little of that color on that. Get that off and let's put some purple. And kind of do that. Get some more purple. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, love that. Love it, love it. Let's wash that out. Don't turn that heat off. I got hot, hot, hot. Let's see, what do we need now? Probably need some darker color. Let's put some darker color on that. We'll do some right here. I love that purple. Oh, that's so pretty, look at that. Ooh, gorgeous. Get your fingers all dirty. All right, let's put a little bit of this lighter color. I don't know when to stop is my problem. That's my problem. I always want to add more and add more and add more and add more. And I think we could do, let's do a little bit more purple and let's do a little bit more there. My water's getting nasty. But there again, we're mixed media. We gotta get nasty. And let's see here. Let's just do a tad bit more purple. I really need to stop so it'll dry. Let's stop right there. Let's see what we think. You see the lips right there in the middle, guys? Look at that. I love this. So see, you can use wax seals on anything. Anything at all. And you know what I would really like to do there? I would really like to use a marker with those lips. But that is not dry. And it could take a minute. But what we could do, and you can see that texture paste. Oh, so pretty. Let's see. There we go, guys. I better stop. Stop, stop, stop. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let's give it just one little second. We will kind of put that up. Put our paints up. Maybe it'll dry just a second. But I will leave the links to all of this below. Please go check them out. I really think you would love to do this. It is so, so fun. I really think you would love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Well, you think. You can even see the lips right there. I've got one of their silver markers here. Let's see if it could kind of outline it. What do you think? It's still wet, so it's probably really not going to do that well. But I could still look at that. Oh, see? Look, who would have thunk that you thunk? Is that a word? Who would have thunk that you could use a wax seal in mixed media? Love this. So what I've used is I've used the skull. Get my so you know I've got my mixed media on. Look at my fingers. I've used the skull and I have used the lips. Thank you, Cray Spire, so much for the opportunity to use your products. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So everyone, please go check them out. I think you would love them too. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.